thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That's me, the babbler. That's me on this evolutionary, revolutionary ride. Living a prayers at this time. So, if you're tuning in with me now, please note that this is video number two. There's a video number one that I always advise for everyone to watch in the numerical order in which the videos are uploaded, received, and numbered, please, because that would be the only way to get whatever it is, all the message that it is that I have to say, whether you participate in that kind of way or whatever, not. Nah. Note that I will not, if I do, I always repeat myself too and I go back and forth between things this is going to be a major babbling thing so i would definitely advise you to go back to video number one guys to know what the fudge i'm going to be talking about in this continuation of that so without further ado i'm just going to continue from where i left off on video number one thank you so where was i i hope that you tuned in to video number one for real at this time so yeah, look, I just look at the bottom of the deck and that five of pentacles kind of a fact. And so yeah, granted, and that's fear, rooted fear. That's what I hear, rooted fear about not having. See, this is part of our conditioning too, right? Part of our conditioning, no matter where part of the world you come from, I don't care. Okay, we are brought into an environment, okay, that has, teaches us from day one that there are certain things that we must do in order to survive and live in the construct, the system that we are born into or whatever environment. So whether we lived on farms, whether we lived in how's like you know it doesn't matter tents igloos it doesn't matter and i guess you're unless you're some wild civilization that is not a part of this conditioned americanized kind of like society even if you're from other countries and still we are you know one whatever those that participate in this kind of level of life and not the amazonian and going oh what about them i'm not talking about them they're not watching this clearly so Go live with them. <laughs> Exile. You know? So, I'm not going there. I'm just going traditional system. Right? Okay? Everything we know to be, everything you think you see, has been spoon-fed to you since the moment you came out of your mother's womb. Okay? Or wherever you came out from. I've been saying, they drop me off, and they do not come and pick me back up. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> right? So, granted, humor is my favorite tool to use. Please understand, understand, overstand. Then inside, and it's funny. <laughs> right? So, whatever. So, this rooted fear. So, that's part of our conditioning, my dear. That's unraveling here. And I want to dissect your mind just to go and seed and impregnate you at this time. Because seeds bloom into life if you water them right. But there's no right or wrong. There's only what it is and whichever way that it will be. But we never got to experience that kind of free reign, you see, because everything has been spoon fed to be and it's just like but do I know anything? No. <laughs> oh no nothing either. And I change my mind often. That's me, not the conditioning. Oh, so you know something. Well Well oh. Well I guess I guess I do. What? You mean... I could think for me too? And speak for me too? And... Discover for myself? And... Decide for myself? Before taking on... 
the spoon of the feeding. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like that flavor. No, get it away. Oh, okay, that's part of our um, conditioning, our conditioning in that kind of way that we got going on today, which is <laughs> challenging. I've replaced hard, the word hard, saying it difficult, hard, or impossible. Well, I don't say impossible because anything is possible. Trust me, with the kind of things that I've seen, <laughs> anything is possible. <laughs> right, so... Right, 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 right. <sighs> right, okay. So, in our roots of our roots, let's unpluck some roots, okay? We're going to go dive in and we're going to unpluck roots okay we're unplugging roots simply to be able to plant our own seeds now whether you do this with me or you know travel for you to see because this is not you doing this with me is not for me <laughs> i'm good you see because i gotta do it for me what you do with yourself, that's all on you. Do you? I advance. And a lot of people don't like to be bossed around at this time. I was talking about that with a friend today. I was just like, you know, they used to call me bossy. And I used to protest and be like, I am not bossy. But, you know, it's just, that's what people say about people that know what it is that they want in some kind of way. Oh, you're so bossy. No, I'm just telling you what to do if you're gonna help me out that pointing to that okay look at that the <laughs> we're plucking roots here i'm gonna take that the death of this feeling okay let's go dive deep into our conditioning system of this lack this fear this desire because you gotta remember everything Within everything that is created, its polarity exists. That's just how it is. Who made it that way? No, never mind all of that. That's just how it is. It, it makes sense. If I'm sad, in your saddened state, you could just think about if you were to incubate in a sad state and know no other kind of feeling except sad then I would imagine the conscious part of you that is just experiencing the sad kind of too in whatever state you are, somewhere in there by far would be imagining for yourself unless you accept the sad and take it in and just that's what it is, man. I'm sad, you know? But if you don't and you don't want to feel that way, Right? Because that's the conscious part of you, the essence of you that's like, whoa, 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 what's happening here? Because I just think about that from an abused, coming from an abusive background. There were times that I would, I would go and please be advised that although I speak emotionally, it's because emotions are we. This is healing. I'm no longer in that place. I don't think about that space. I'm just here trying to convey and share my experience with you in some kind of way so that we can create these bridges of alignment that will growth, grow. whatever needs to grow or what remains stagnant and, and just settle fuck out of here with that right so hmm sad <laughs> talking about sad and love man concepts bad anywho we're going to get into our alchemy, too, because that is what we are here to do, to get into our alchemy. 
just understand, like, you have intelligence in tell. Intel. Intel. Wait a minute, I always thought that was the CIA. FBI. That's I. Intel. Computer graphics. Downloads, implodes, uploads. Something inside that speaks, conveys my body has these signals activated in some kind of way to speak what the insides have to say. Right, let's go deep, okay? Conditioning. Everything that you know has been told to you. And you have taken a stance on it in some kind of way, whether you've been conscious of it or not. I'm not here to debate with you. It's just what I'm saying. You can believe whatever you want. You can see whatever you want. You can perceive whatever you want. I'm going to not take that as... Because remember, we, I believe in evolution. I'm an evolutionist. So even this too, right here, what I think I know or see or perceive, it is open for expansion. And I am open to that too. Because I don't want to stay stuck here. If there's more to do, know, learn, grow. <laughs> yeah, I take that road. Yeah, sure. Right. Okay. Granted. That's right. So let's dive deep. Er. So everything, 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 todos, todos. I'm so sorry that that if it upsets you that to know that even the things that you believe and have your most strongest convictions on <laughs> is that really your song? Or is that what mama and daddy and grandma and grandpa and society and all these people told you that it is? And then you would say, mm, I'm going to suck off this it thing. Bottle. Pacifier. Pacifier. A pacifier pacifies a baby's cry. Ignore it as I since. A child, you see, for emotions has always been pacified and silenced in me. They gave me a bobo so that I didn't have to speak or cry, and I just cried through my bobo every time. Because expressive is that. Right, we've been suppressed so much more than me even realizing those that are awakening the 50-50 line and those that are in the other 50 line that are tatering back and forth between karmic and life and doing the right thing and they're like volatile right now talk about eruption style and then those that have been doing this longer like you know and are not creating chaos and havoc in other people's lives or making those kind of mistakes that's not the line you are on like um but still, it's been difficult or challenging and taking longer. And that was going back to the video number one in the beginning when I was saying, you know, it's taking, things have taken longer than expected. And it's like this taste of disappointment that's in the back, like somewhere there, somewhere there. Because it was already implanted in you to feel that there. That's why it's so rare to feel that faith, because faith has always been something described in some kind of absence, he life, or figment of my, what? Imagination? Books? Are a writer's way to make creation? Whether it be fiction or not? You mean I can say whatever it is that I want out of the perception, the lens, and the view of my human experience and so I can speak metaphorically who I do that all the time right is that poet is that I say a lot of things that might seem strong but hey that's how you write a song right granted let's go deep okay Everything, everything, thoughts, has been fed to you. And you have positioned yourself 
in it in some kind of way. And here you are choosing today to, okay, I want to elevate, evolutionize, and revolutionize my own experience in some kind of way because I see that there's something misaligned in that system. These are the other 50-50s, the ones that are like learning but lack thereof of the discipline of the appeared um, sacrifices like that have to be made in order for you to elevate, evolutionize, and revolutionize your own experience. You gotta do what you gotta do because you can't be over here feeling sad and like afraid to make a move because you don't want to be left out here too. You gotta put that fear to death and you can't allow others to treat you in some kind of way to keep you stuck um, or bound like, you know, to, to having to live in a type of way that is not yours. See, so many get caught up in the conditioning of the world that when we do things that are sneaky or not nice or not right or some kind of, you know, live in some kind of way or have some kind of experiences like, you know, thieving. We've all, I've stolen not proud of it did i admit it before hell no why because it's not right right steal from different store can anything right because of this mindset or to how about how about how about, how about people that because they feel like they don't have something and it can be like, for me, like, I, again, we can only speak through our own experiences. Like, so here we go. I'm not gossiping, right? I'm talking about my own damn experience, right? So, people not liking me because I'm joy. Oh, boy. You want to know how many death cycles I've went through? Before you go, because you don't put in the work. You want to half step. And you want to try to rob me of my joy? Because that's. What I do, the work that I put in, that I share with care, because I've been there. Right, right, right. So you got the other 50 50 years. I always call them the hybrids. The hybrids, right? These are those that are awakening later than the, like, let's say there's many batches, but, you know, again, this is our language to communicate if we wanted to, like, segregate and, like, put things into perspective so that you can just get the visual of the 50-50, the 50, like, of the 100% of people that are awake, 50% of them are newbies, and the other 50% are freaking alchemist already, okay, but still, feeling, and somewhere in the back, even if you could be positive, faithful, and doing your do, and doing your do, like, yo, when is this shit going, is, is, is gonna give, then we go through a pandemic, symbolic, so, right, Right. Let's go deep. So everything that you have experienced up until now, whether you're conscious or not or whatever, waking up to that now has all been a ripple effect. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. A ripple effect. It all has been a domino effect. It all has been triggered implanted like you have literally implants in you when you think we get implants from you are implanted even from the seed of sexual deeds if that's even the first seed because how can that be the first seed of reproduction through our you know we reproduce through these our, our sexual organs here, so who were the first fucking babies? Anyways, that's a different story. It 
if you are religious and you believe in your own kind of things and your own kind of theories, I'm not looking for your answers. Just in case. These are rhetoricals. But know your own answers before you go preaching somebody else's. And I love Jesus. And that is in no way mockery. It's a true story. The energy of this Jesus story is absolutely great. Beautiful. Nice. We should be loving. We should care that much. Nice. Okay. I've connected with the energy that is. Anyways, that's not about this. Ignore that. Let's go deep. Okay, so everything that you know up until right now has been given to you by someone else. And you have grown into this beautiful little flower that you are, right? Muddy world is because it's murky. Why is it murky? Because I don't know left from right to right to left to sock to foot to ear. That's all been told to me, my dear. My ear could be my foot and my foot could be my ear. I don't know. They told me this. You know, I'm not trying to be silly, but you know. Just be expansive in receiving. Stop looking to know things. We don't know nothing. We think we know something. And every time we learn something, the only thing you can ever really learn is yourself. <laughs> Which is very helpful to the collective. So please do continue to do. Let's go down deeper. Oh, it's 22. All right, there is going to be a video number three. Before I go and get caught up in this here, I'm going to continue with this message on another video. Um, video number three, I guess, you know, because I want to be able to upload these faster to YouTube. And since a lot of things also are in retrograde, I got to be mindful of that today. And I participate in to create some kind of harmony. And so 22 minutes sounds pretty good to me. So if you would please follow me into video number three.